Hello and good evening. You are watching TMB News. I'm Anju Sukham. Let's have a look at the top stories of the day. Incessant rain caused by Cyclone Rimal severely impacted the whole state of Manipur on Tuesday. National Highway 37 has been cut off after a stretch of one of the two lifelines of the state caved in following a landslide caused by uninterrupted heavy rainfall. Flash floods and landslides have been reported from several hill districts in Manipur. A footbridge was swept away in Sanapati while a truck fell into a gorge in Sanam village near Kotlin along the National Highway 37. The district administrations of Imphal East and Tamenlong have advised the public in the two districts to remain alert and take necessary precautions to avoid the loss of life and property, citing the Indian Meteorological Department's Monday Weather Bulletin, which issued an orange alert for the entire state of Manipur. Public advisories issued by deputy commissioners of the two districts have directed people to stay indoors and avoid areas that often face water logging problems. The State Adolescent Health or Rashtriya Kishore Swatiya Karyakram program under National Health Mission celebrated the Menstrual Hygiene Day on Tuesday to break myths or misconceptions around menstruation and to publicize the positive or innovative solutions to address these challenges. It also aims to create awareness on the key adolescent health issues which in turn will instill positive behavior in the adolescents. The program is trying with new innovative ideas and activities to keep the interest of the adolescents and to generate demand for the services being rendered by this innovative program. The third Foundation Day of Like-Minded Group LMG was held at the Manipur Press Club on Tuesday. Following a meeting which began at 9.30 a.m., 15 office bearers, including L. Kunjakeshwar Sarma, who retained his position as the group's president, for the term from 2024 to 2027 were elected. The group also observed its third anniversary after the conference. Editors Guild Manipur's president Kogendra Kondra, who graced the event as the chief guest, loaded the philanthropy group for serving the downtrodden. The Congress party has welcomed the arrival of former Minister Samuel Jandai, former candidate from Huripo AC, Dr. N. Dwijamani, and Zilangrong students leader from Tamenlong, T.P. Dining, into the party's fold at a reception hosted at Congress Bhavan on Tuesday. MPCC Chief K. Megachandra expressed happiness at Jandai, Dwijamani, and Dining, joining his party and expressed confidence that they will join hands with the rest of the Congress team in working selflessly to uphold the ideologies of the party and its commitment to serve the people, a journey which began during the fight for independence of India. The Indian junior women's hockey team was defeated by Germany 4-6 to six on Monday in the fifth match of their Tour of Europe here in Dusseldorf, Germany. Displaying remarkable spirit after conceding six goals, India rallied to score four goals and asserted themselves in the second half of the match. Sanjana Horo, Binima Dan and Kanika Siwach scored goals for India. The severe cyclonic storm Remal weakened within six hours of making landfall on Saturday night and it has presently shifted northeastward to Bangladesh. All seven states of the Northeast, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Manipur, Nagaland and Tripura will have heavy weather activity for the next two days. The heterogeneous terrain of the Northeast as such responds adversely in such situations. Heavy rainfall may disrupt communication and connectivity when wind pace will also be quite high. The complete Northeast region will be impacted adversely over the next two days.